Kia very consciously avoids calling the 2022 Carnival a minivan, instead preferring the term multi-purpose vehicle. It's not really hard to understand the reasoning that went into that marketing decision. Minivans kind of have boring styling and a stodgy driving experience, and they're not very aspirational. You kind of settle for a minivan when you need a larger vehicle. It's not something you want to own. However, that's not true of the Carnival. This handsome vehicle has a very confident and enjoyable driving experience on the road, and it doesn't sacrifice any of the family-friendly features that we've come to expect of something with three rows of seats and two sliding doors, whatever you want to call it. I can't wait to tell you a little bit more about what makes this vehicle special, but before we get into that, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media. The positive first impressions start as soon as you get in the vehicle. Kia has done a wonderful job of styling the Carnival to look extremely premium. You've got this big wide center console up front, which is actually kind of a rarity in the minivan segment. A lot of them have a pass through that is definitely convenient when you need to get to the back seat. But at the same time, this feels extremely luxurious and very usable. There's lots of great storage pockets and stuff like that as well. And the color scheme that they've chosen for this SX trim is fantastic. This beautiful saddle and black soft tex upholstery does a really good imitation of leather and it has a very premium classic luxury color scheme to it which is really good like every kia it uses a very good infotainment system that's extremely responsive to touch and really easy to get used to the map in particular is pretty nice it zooms and pinches and everything like that it's all very easy to use it doesn't have wireless apple carplay or android auto but that's really the only fault that i can levy at this system it's otherwise very easy to get used to and there is still the wired smartphone connection so you can access all of your favorite apps and features kia also gave folks in the second row plenty to be grateful for for example, there's a lot of room already back here, but if I need a little bit more space and there's no one in the front passenger seat, I can use these buttons on the side to motor it forward and give myself even more leg room. At the exact same time, if someone's in the third row and they need a bit more space, you can slide these seats forward and backward. Another useful feature, especially for parents of small kids, is you can put a child seat in the center row, slide it all the way forward, and it's easier to kind of tend to the child in the seat, give them snacks or drinks or whatever else they might need if they're starting to get fussy. Preventing that altogether is the work of this cool twin screen infotainment system that's already preloaded with YouTube Kids and Baby Shark Songs and Games. This is pretty fantastic. It's a great way to keep kids engaged and keep them from getting too bored on long car rides. I don't personally believe in rear seat infotainment. I think it's important for kids to get bored in cars, but if you don't agree with me and most people don't, this is a great solution for you. With the rear seat up, there's 40.2 cubic feet of cargo space, and an easy flip and fold puts that rear seat into a well right here, opening up a staggering 86.2 cubic feet, more than enough for a family of five to go on a very long trip together. The Kia Carnival has a pair of storage cubbies that help keep small items from rolling around, and there's a 120 volt outlet as well back here. There are also two USB ports in the third row, so passengers in every single zone can keep their devices charged. When you come look at the Kia Carnival in the showroom, you're probably going to be most attracted to the passenger hauling and cargo carrying features that it offers. But when it's time to take it for a test drive, you won't be disappointed. That's because the Kia Carnival is a confident and enjoyable minivan. It's certainly not a sports car and it can't really carve up a canyon very well. But at the same time, it has a very well damped, quiet suspension that's perfectly matched to this vehicle's mission. Power comes from a Kia V6 engine that offers plenty of power and decent mid-range punch. I don't think it'll be a problem when you load this thing down with kids and cargo and head for the hills. It should probably be able to handle most family vacations just fine. Overall, it's a comfortable and capable family hauling vehicle. In fact, the only real misses on this car is that it doesn't offer an all-wheel drive system in spite of its SUV-like styling and there is no hybrid option available, both of which you can get on the Toyota Sienna and Chrysler Pacifica. Ever since the SUV took over as the family transport unit of choice, it seemed like the minivan's days are numbered. However, with the arrival of the Kia Carnival MPV, it might be time for sliding doors to make a comeback. Thanks for watching.